470 ACC. 542 AC 44 C6M. Coming in from Mingo Junction. Pillar Station, Ohio, on the Ohio Central Panhandle line. Didn't expect that, didn't expect to see anything like this. Norfolk Southern train on uh, one of the Norfolk Southern lines in Dillonville, Ohio. It's like a green local. That was short. It's like a little green local train here.
just screeching around the turn. train heading up the mountain sub towards Cumberland. They stack that coal mean and high on that thing. Engine. I lied. I thought it was a GP9, but nope. GP35 rebuilt. I got some CSX Beth Gone Coal Porters. I'm going to take a guess and see if we got CSX power on the head end. Just talking to, to my, I was just talking about a few days ago. I hardly really see coal trains on this line. Last one I seen was a Norfolk Southern slash wheeling to Lake Erie, but I ain't seen a CSX wheeling to Lake Erie coal train in a while until today. Yeah, we got three engines on this thing ES44 AH Gevo 3188, AC4400 CW240. And uh, can't tell what the third one is. Looks like another AC4400 CW number 712. Nope, it's an ES44 AH number 712. I lied. Looks exactly like what he seems to be doing here. I'm not sure if they're building an outbound train here or if uh, they're just shoving them into the hole to wait for another train to come in. Because we might have a wheeling the Lake Erie like coal train or whatever that might be needing to come in here for the Nell's Mine, which is that way. And here come our engines, SD40-2, 3340. In the Ohio for the Ohio Central, Ohio Central SD40-2 3490, and Ohio Central SD40-2 722. All SD40-2s on this train. Sounds like he's just coasting downhill. Uh, which is the gray locomotive up against the buffer car and then um, What looks like 6991 is on the head end Shove them back and There's the conductor uh, there's the engineer sitting in locomotive 6992 Doesn't look like there's anybody in the cab of 6991. If this foliage and if this all these leaves and foliage and stuff wasn't here, I could be.
crawlers. Here they go. I knew it. Hopedale crossover's line reverse. They're going to cross from into, from Waco side and into the main line, onto the main line. Coming back. Light engines and a buffer car.
Okay. Yellow signal on the main, red signal on the siding. I was hoping I would have been able to have had enough time to go home and get my HD video camera since my phone is out of space. I'm filming on my mom's phone right now. She let me do that. I'm a, yeah, I have the volume on max. It's cold out here. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, I was hoping I would have had time to go home and get the HD video camera. Uh, with my tripod to set up right where I'm standing right now to hopefully like because since my phone's low on storage I was gonna hope for a stable or shot and like um, Be able to film with my HD ca camera since I hardly film with it But I was passing over on US 22 over the tracks and I'd seen the conductor was riding on the back That they were shoving back here like they were already like half they were just to get ready to I don't even know what he said. Clear a certain number of distance. Anyway, um, I, he was pretty, they were pretty much almost to the overpass at the tail end of their train. And so I was like, I ain't got time for this. So I just, so I, was, I told my mom, I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and get over to the tracks. And as you guys saw, I barely had any time to even get out of the vehicle. That's what's tough with filming these mainline trains. Well, this isn't necessarily a mainline job. It's just more of like a uh, a local that goes from Brewster, Ohio. Looks like all these cars appear to be Placard 1075. That's what I'm seeing anyway. Oh, bus 225 gets to wait on the train. <laughs> they stay here too. You're staying way back there, too. <laughs> Wish I had gloves, because my hands are starting to get cold. And it is starting to actually snow. <laughs> I don't know why 235 is not coming up here. That's the bus that's sitting over there. Harrison Hills School District. Oh, and here come our engines. zoom on my mom's camera better. Okay, they decided to go uh, up the back way under the tracks. They decided not to wait. <laughs> now we got two engines still, as you usually do. It's cold out here and the wind's starting to blow. Appears to be both just SD40-2s. Wheeling Lake Erie 6354 and 6990. He wasn't even looking. He's in the 6354. And there they go. We're crossing over from the main line into Waco siding with, I'm assuming, loaded tankers. And we'll keep rolling for a little bit. We'll listen into the scanner and these radio controlled signals. If I'm thinking they will, they'll go back to uh, restore to normal until they throw them again. And brakes are screechy. Calling for three step. I don't know if the signals will change. Yep, there they went. So I'm zoom back out. And this should light up with them restoring to normal. <laughs> Maybe. Because they have restored to normal, it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and pause it until they uh, uncouple the cars and start moving. There's a bus up there stopped. Dropping kids off. Probably the uh, Harrison Hills 235 that we saw sitting back here at the at the uh, split, waiting for the 214 to clear. And I guess the bus driver just like got impatient or something. 
I turn around. I'm gonna pause it, and they're setting the handbrakes right now on the cars, and they're uncoupling. Handbrakes are set. The radio controlled signals and switches have restored to normal. I accident. I ended the video too early, and then I shut the phone off. Here we go. Get ready to leave. The WNLE Hopedale crossover has received a request to throw. Repeat. The WNLE Oakdale crossover has received a request to throw. Out. You see, we got a spy up here. You see, we got a spy up here. Yeah. Oh, they just acknowledged me. How about that? <laughs> Came in on two wheels and we were. WNLE Oakdale crossovers line reverse. Repeat. Oakdale crossovers line reverse. Out. <laughs> Sounds like he said it. I came in on two. Sounds like he's at a... came around the curve and on two wheels trying to get there to get their picture. <laughs> Hopefully you mean video, dude. That's all I had to do. <laughs> that was just too cool right there. Well, that's not the first time I've been acknowledged. First time I flew the drone above them, the, uh, the first drone video I uploaded was 214. The conductor acknowledged that uh, they had a drone above them. So, that's not surprising. <laughs> yeah, good one, three step. I agree. Three step. Three stretch. And here they come. At least I think. Yeah. Let's start doing three step. I think they just did three step. Hands are cold. Can't wait to get back in the car to warm these things up. <laughs> So there. And here they come, moving forward, switching back from Waco siding back onto the main line. I'm gonna get up here a little bit. Oh, you better go. You better go or stop. Go or stop something. Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, I would just stopped and waited, but. There they go. Restored to normal. And there they go. The two engines heading down back towards Waco with just the buffer car in tow. Listen in. It should say Hopedale crossover is restored to normal. Alrighty. Well, that's going to conclude it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, do me a favor and punch the like button. Hopedale crossover has restored to normal. Repeat. Hopedale crossover has restored to normal. Out. Anyway, as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. This is Wyatt from Country Road Productions.
and punching cars. <laughs> And he's dismounting. <laughs> that is something, da it's a dangerous thing to do, but it's exactly what railroaders do. He's the guy right there you're hearing on the scanner. Communication with the uh, train crews up in the locomotive. And he's, this is only a single crossover. Not a double crossover, so he is crossing over from the main line into Waco siding. If he was in Waco siding needing to cross over to the main line, he would either have to go up there to Waco West Switch to the single track, or he would have to reverse uh, past Waco siding and pass the signals and crossing to switch onto the main line. I caught a train here last night, and the video didn't really turn out all that great, so I am not going to upload it. It's like 50 degrees out here in this fall, final day of September evening. And I do not have my jacket with me and it is freezing. <laughs> Who's cruising back into that siding? It's about how fast I normally see him go through here. funny thing that actually happened yesterday while I was here, or last yesterday evening while I was here filming, uh, I think the same exact operation, uncoupling from, uncoupling from their train and heading back towards Brewster. The engineer did not blow the horn for this crossing, which is kind of a surprise to me because every train I have filmed here, they always blow the horn. I discovered this train over while I was on uh, State Route 22, and I uh, was crossing over it, seeing that there was two, uh, both tracks had tankers on them, and you normally don't see that unless there's a train here doing switching, and so I decided to head up here to Oakdale, we'll wait a couple minutes, and they finally came, and then that's when the uh, radio-controlled signal went to a yellow on the track the train is on, and to a red on the siding track and it's yellow on the main line for the train backing over and the reason the signal on the siding is red is because the train's switching that track these signals will eventually drop to red and then the uh they'll go back to green when the train leaves and then they'll eventually just go back to red all together until they're controlled again by the radio and here comes the head end with two sd40 locomotives <laughs> <coughs> These Wheeling and Lake Erie locomotives right here, these ones are uh, from different leasing companies. This yellow one, I do not know what company it's from, but the green and gray one I know is a leased FURX unit. <laughs> $69.96 $69 and $69.85. Shoving them through the crossover. I don't know if I'll be able to hang around to see them leave because they will leave momentarily. They'll uncouple and then they'll head back towards Brewster. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to uh, stay and watch them because I have frozen food in my vehicle. So, <laughs> there get the gates up. I love this wide angle fisheye view because it actually gives you a full view of the whole crossing without having to like point at different signals. That, that was just bizarre. Not the first time I've seen the crossings do that, but... He's fully in Waco siding now, so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, end the video in case I am unable to stay. If you guys enjoyed, please do me a favor and punch the like button and subscribe for more. And also hit the post notification bell to be notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Wyatt from Country Road Rail Productions. Out. Alright guys, they are pulling forward, handbrakes are set, cars are uncoupled, and they are running engines light with the buffer car to head back towards Brewster. At least that appears to be what they're doing. I'll pause it until they actually start moving. Alright guys, here they come. These radio controlled signals should go to green. 
watch this guy, watch this guy run it. Good, he's, no, no. <laughs> he, does, he just turns around, he does not want to wait, wow. People do not know how to wait for trains these days. Watch the signals go back. Oh, can't go west switch. Wake wake there go the gates. Normal. The signals have dropped to red. Let's catch and see if that does that light malfunction. Never mind, I ain't doing it. There it goes. Hannah West switch is line normal. Repeat, the WNLE Hannah West switch is line normal. Out. Okay. There it goes. The crew of the train. Safe trip to. I think it's the crew of train 214. normal. Out. All right. Safe trip to the crew of train 214, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Wyatt from Country Road Rail Productions. Out.
Smart, she actually stopped and waited until the lights turned off. Hopefield crossover's mat line. Repeat, Hopefield crossover's mat line. Stop and inspect. Out. Yeah. LHCR to Sashman Albans, over. Oh, uh, now that probably the whole central train out here was wait now waiting. Go ahead, LHCR 3340, over. This train just tried to throw the switch. I don't know. The WNLE Oakdale is. crossover has received a request to throw. Repeat. The WNLE Oakdale crossover has received a request to throw. Out.
That's the Ohio Central. So now they're going to come back onto the main line. They were in like their side and now they're switching onto the main. Have a good night, guys. This is that show.